Hello everyone, today we're going to continue with our fisheries review questions and we are now in part 8 and we will be dealing with fisheries vocabularies starting from question number 81 up to 100. So to begin with, number 81, this refers to the science of breeding, raising, and harvesting of fish, shellfish, and aquatic plants. A. Pisciculture B. Fish hatchery C. Fish husbandry D. Aquaculture and E. All of the above Again, the science of breeding, raising, and harvesting fish, shellfish, and aquatic plants A. Pisciculture B. Fish hatchery C. Fish husbandry D. Aquaculture and D. All of the above The answer is aquaculture so aquaculture refers to the science of breeding, raising, and harvesting fish, shellfish, and aquatic plants. Number 82. This refers to artificial holding areas used in rearing fish farm stocks. A. Fish pots. B. Culture tanks. C. Fish corals. D. Ponds. And E. All of the above. Again, artificial holding areas used in rearing fish farm stock. A. Fish pots. B. Culture tanks. E, fish corals, D, pans, and E, all of the above. The answer is culture tanks. So culture tanks are artificial holding areas used in rearing fish farm stocks. 83. This refers to migratory fish that move within fresh water only. A. Anadromos. B. Catadromos. C. Potamodromos. D. Amphidromos. And E, all of the above. Again, migratory fish that move within fresh water only. Anadromos, Catadromos, Potamodromos, Amphidromos, and E, all of the above. The answer is Potamodromos. So Potamodromos fish are born in upstream freshwater habitats, then migrate downstream, still in freshwater, as juveniles to grow into adults before migrating back upstream to spawn. Number 84. These are migratory fishes that move within salt water only. A. Anadromos B. Catadromos C. Potamodromos D. Amphidromos and E. None of the above Again, migratory fish that move within salt water only. A. Anadromos B. Catadromos C. Potamodromos D. Amphidromos and E. None of the above The answer is none of the above because a migratory fish that move within salt water only is called Oceanodromos fish. 85. A fish of any particular species which are raised for reproduction purposes. A. Broodstock. B. Parent fish. C. Brood fish. D. Breeders. And E. All of the above. Again, fish of any particular species which are raised for reproduction purposes. A. Broodstock. B. Parent fish. C. Brood fish. D. Breeders and E. All of the above The answer is all of the above So a fish of any particular species which are raised for reproduction purposes can be either called broodstock, a parent fish, a brood fish, or a breeder 86. This refers to a localized die-off of fish populations which may also be associated with more generalized mortality of aquatic life a. Fish skill B. Overfishing C. Overcrowding D. Ecological hypoxia and E. All of the above Again, refers to a localized die-off of fish populations which may also be associated with more generalized mortality of aquatic life A. Fish skill B. Overfishing C. Overcrowding D. Ecological hypoxia and E. All of the above The answer is Fish kill. So a fish kill refers to a localized die-off of fish populations which may also be associated with more generalized mortality of aquatic life. Number 87 refers to both natural and artificial materials not typically found or found in unusually high concentrations which can be detrimental to the health of wild or farmed aquatic species. A. Turbidity B. Contaminants C. Elevated temperature D. Sudden change in salinity and E. All of the above Again, both natural and artificial materials not typically found or found in unusually high concentrations which can be detrimental to the health of wild or farm aquatic species a turbidity b contaminants c elevated temperature d sudden change in salinity and e all of the above 
The answer is contaminant. So a contaminant is either natural or artificial material which is not typically found or found in unusually high concentrations which can be detrimental to the health of wild or farmed aquatic species. Number 88. This refers to a rapid excessive growth of algae generally caused by high nutrient levels particularly phosphorus. A. Agricultural runoff. B. Red tide, C. Algal bed, D. Algal bloom, and E. All of the above. A rapid excessive growth of algae generally caused by high level or by high nutrient levels, particularly phosphorus. A. Agricultural runoff, B. Red tide, C. Algal bed, D. Algal bloom, and E. All of the above. The answer is algal bloom. So an algal bloom is a rapid, excessive growth of algae, generally caused by high nutrient uh, levels, particularly phosphorus. Uh, 89. A seawater depleted with uh, oxygen is called anoxic sediment, B. Anoxic seawater, C. Anoxic seabed, D. Anoxic sea surface, and D. All of the above. Again, a seawater depleted of oxygen is called anoxic sediment, B. Anoxic seawater, C. Anoxic seabed, D. Anoxic sea surface, and E. All of the above. The answer is anoxic seawater. So an anoxic seawater is a seawater without oxygen or depleted with oxygen. Number 90. The total weight of fish in a given area is called A. Bioacoustics, B. Biodiversity, C. Biotone, D. Biomass, and E. All of the above. Again, the total weight of fish in a given area is called bioacoustics, B, biodiversity, C, biotone, D, biomass, and E, all of the above. The answer is biomass. So a biomass refers to the total weight of fish in a given area. 91. Water that has more salinity than fresh water, but not as much as seawater, is called A. Estuaries, B. River mouth, C. Brackish water, D. Shoreline, and E. All of the above. Water that has more salinity than fresh water, but not as much as seawater. A. Estuaries, B. River mouth, C. Brackish water, D. Shoreline, and E. All of the above. The answer is brackish water. So a brackish water is a water that has more salinity than fresh water but not as much as seawater. 92. An anchored float serving as navigation mark to show reefs or other hazard or for mooring. A. Life buoy. B. Anchor. C. Buoy. D. Float. And E. None of the above. Again. An anchored float serving as navigation mark to show reefs or other hazards or for mooring. A. Life buoy. B. Anchor. C. Buoy. D. Float. And E. None of the above. The answer is a buoy. Buoy is an anchored float serving as navigation mark to show reefs or other hazards or for mooring. 93. An act of throwing bait or a lure over the water using a fishing rod. A. Casting, B. Throwing, C. Jigging, D. Fishing, and E. None of the above. An act of throwing bait or lure over the water using a fishing rod is called A. Casting, B. Throwing, C. Jigging, D. Fishing, and E. None of the above. The answer is casting. So casting is an act of throwing bait or a lure over the water using a fishing rod. 94. A group of marine animals that include sea stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers abundant on the floor of the deep sea as well as in the shallow areas. A. Crustaceans B. Echinoderms C. Cephalopods D. Gastropods and E. None of the above Again, a group of marine animals that include sea stars, sea urchins, and sea cucumbers which are abundant on the floor of the deep sea as well as in shallower areas A. Crustaceans B. Echinoderms C. Cephalopods D. Gastropods and E. None of the above The answer is Echinoderms 95. Member of the group of marine animals that includes uh, whales, dolphins, and porpoises. They are the mammals mostly fully adapted to aquatic life and are noted for their high intelligence. A. Crustacean B. Cetacean C. Carapace D. Cephalopod and E. None of the above. Again, member of the group of marine mammals that includes whales, dolphins, and porpoises. They are the mammals most fully adapted to aquatic life and are noted for their high intelligence. A. Crustacean B. Cetacean C. Carapace D. Cephalopods and E. None of the above. 
The answer is cetacean. So cetacean is uh, a group of marine mammals that includes whales, dolphins, and porpoises. 96. Changes in the variability or average state of the atmosphere over time periods ranging from decades to millions of years is called A. Fish migration, B. Coral blitzing, C. Global warming, D. Climate change, and E. None of the above. This refers to the changes in the variability or average state of the atmosphere over time periods ranging from decades to millions of years. A. Fish migration, B. Coral blitzing, C. Global warming, D. Climate change, and E. None of the above. The answer is climate change. So climate change refers to the changes in the variability or average state of the atmosphere over time periods ranging from decades to millions of years. 97. An area in an ocean or large lake where oxygen levels are extremely low often due to eutrophication. A. Dead fish. B. Demersal zone. C. Dead zone. D. Abyssal. And E. None of the above. An area in an ocean or large lake where oxygen levels are extremely low often due to eutrophication. A. Dead fish. B. Demersal zone. C. Dead zone. D. Abyssal. And, and E. None of the above. The answer is dead zone. So a dead zone is an area in an ocean or large lake where oxygen levels are extremely low often due to eutrophication. 98. Cartilaginous fish that includes sharks and skates and rays are called A. Agnatha, B. Chondrichthyes, C. Oschechthyes, D. Elasmobranch, and E. B and D are correct. Again. Cartilaginous fish that include sharks, skates, and rays are called Agnatha, V. Congrexias, C. Oschechias, D. Elasmobranch, and E. B and D are correct. The answer is E. So the cartilaginous fish that includes sharks, skates, and rays are also called Chondrichthyes and Elasmobranchs. 99. Refers to a population of an organism which is at risk of becoming extinct. A. Endangered species. B. Endemic species. C. Threatened species. D. Protected species. And E. All of the above. Refers to a population of an organism which is at risk of becoming extinct. A. Endangered species. B. Endemic species. C. Threatened species. D. Protected species. And E. All of the above. The answer is endangered species. So endangered species refers to a population of an organism which is at risk of becoming extinct. And the last number, number 100. A semi-enclosed coastal body of water with one or more rivers or streams flowing into it and with a free connection to the open sea. A. Bay B. Lagoon C. Estuary D. Cove and E. All of the above. A semi-enclosed coastal body of water with one or more rivers or streams flowing into it and with a free connection to the open sea. A. Bay B. Lagoon C. Estuary D. Cove E. All of the above. The answer is estuary. So an estuary is a semi-enclosed coastal body of water with one or more rivers or streams flowing into it and with a free connection to the open sea. So that's all for now. See you soon.